I'm about to introduce um, Portland's honestly, like I would say the the royal liege of queer comedy in Portland. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. You, this is this is royalty. Yeah. So this person has mentored both of us, helped us get this show, Queer oh, AF. Oh, has really sacrificed a lot for queer comedy and is just iconic in so many ways. Uh, and they also, among many other things that they do, they host the show Brozone Layer, which is going to be here October 18th at Covert Cafe, and this one's on it. Okay, so can you, on the count of three, get really, really hype, okay? Clap as hard as you can. One, two, three. Give it up for Joe John Sanchez, the third. Keep clapping. Keep bowing. Thank you. Thank you. I need that. I need that because someone outside asked me if I was headlining and I said no. No, I'm sorry. Aaliyah chose her boyfriend and his wife, best at comedy, Roland and Muriel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I not good enough for comedy for you? Is that is that what we're doing? I'm sorry. I'm only the sixth funniest person on Willamette Week's Funniest Five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was number five, and then I opened up the paper and find out someone declined a profile they did that and i would never their name who did it but their name rhymes with rent rowry <laughs> never said that on stage before put this on the youtube <laughs> <sighs> on that note i'm tired of rumors starting I'm tired of rumors starting, and you may have heard some people in the community have been saying there are too many queer shows in Portland. Oh no, oh no. We got about a fucking dozen in this city, and here's the thing, we should have more. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Every single one of you here, whether you're a comedian or not, you are going home and you are starting 12 more <laughs> queer comedy shows. Make them all eat shit for saying that. That's what we're doing. Oh, God. I'm very frustrated, especially because, like, as a queer comedian, I went to a festival once and someone on a panel about, like, agents and managers was like, you can be gay in comedy as long as you don't make it about your gayism. <laughs> your fucking gayism. I want to be clear, a lesbian said that. And she was like, I can say it because I'm a lesbian. I have a wife. Um, and I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And I'm like, what am I going to do with this information? What am I going to do? Um, do I stop doing queer material? Oh, my God. Pivot to clean comedy. Clean comedy. Oh, I'm straight now. Uh, yeah, like, that's how I get on late night. Straight. Uh, God. But then I was like, okay, wait. No, 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 no. What we're going to do is start 12 queer comedy shows tonight. And I... I, I am going to make my comedy gayer. That is an appropriate level of applause. But be careful, because if you cheer too much, the next time I'm at Covert Cafe, I'm going to get bukkakied on this stage. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It might happen tonight, honestly. Whatever. It's Aaliyah's birthday. Anything could happen. <laughs> I'm mad at a cat. Yeah, pivot. I'm mad at a cat. And I'm going to tell you why I'm mad at that cat. That cat withheld its love from me. From me? 
<laughs> me, the sixth funniest person in Portland, <laughs> undisputable genius of comedy, you fucking cat. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm Roya. <laughs> I messaged the owner of this cat because I was cat sitting, of course, <laughs> because I because I have a, I have a real job as Portland comedy royalty. I have a real job cat sitting, um, and their response was that their cat, their little pussy cat, just doesn't like men. This fucking cat. <laughs> that darn cat starring Christina Ricci. That darn cat doesn't know that I use fucking they, them pronouns. That cat does not understand that gender is a construct. Cancel that cat. <laughs> That cat, like Sam Bass, is not allowed at Portland Comedy Open Mics. And that is a decree from royalty right here, right now. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I am uh, non-binary. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Uh, and I, I went by he and pronouns for like a long time in my life. And then I moved to Portland and about a year in a few months. I don't know. I switched to he, they. Um, and that is because they make you do it. You have to. You move to Portland and you don't immediately question your gender identity, then they tell you you have to move. You have to move. And you have to move to Vancouver. <laughs> and not the cool one in Canada. The one in Washington where no one wants to live. Oh, God. <laughs> But, like, people, like, hear that and they're like, you just switched your pronouns. You moved here and you just switched your pronouns. I'm like, no. There were signs all along. There were signs all along. I was a fucking hula hoop kid. <laughs> and if you don't know what that means, in indoor recess, there were two genres of human. There were boys who played basketball there were girls who jump roped, and then there was a third separate group of kids, and we all just hula hooped. <laughs> and we just hula hooped for way too long, like 15 minutes of recess to Montel Jordan's, this is how we do it. <sighs> and every single one of us grew up to be a little bit gay. And I know that scientifically, because the only other hula hoop kid I know is a non-binary veterinarian in Denver, Colorado, who studies flying fucking snakes. <laughs> and they still hula hoop to this day at Burning Man. It's actually kind of beautiful. Sorry, I'm choked up. I'm choked up. Wow, sirens. Oh, I'm getting arrested for being too fucking cute. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm too adorable. Um, God, um, I'm sort of like... My family's being weird. They, like, want me to visit because I haven't done that since before the pandemic. Gay. Um, oh, my God. You want to see me? Gay. Uh, yeah. My niece tried to, like, guilt me into doing it by asking my sister, when am I going to see Uncle Joe again? And I was like, that's really sad. That's really sad for you because Uncle Joe no longer fucking exists. <laughs> My name is Joe John now, and I'm not your uncle. And I don't know what I am because there is no non-binary term for uncle or aunt. There isn't. The, 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 the internet told me pibbling. <laughs> and that is bad. <laughs> 
that is bad. It's some, some sort, sort of portmanteau that, that I don't get. The one I liked, though, was auntie. Because that is the closest I will ever get to my nieces and nephew calling me cunty. I want that. <laughs> Why do I want that? <laughs> Oh my, oh my. Um, has anyone seen the billboard down the street? This might, is, might not even be a joke yet, but it says, I love you, Meg. I drove? Okay. <laughs> Mac, no awe. Because can you imagine someone going through the effort of spray painting, I love you, Meg, up on a billboard on 82nd? And then you drive up and it's like, I did this for you, babe. <laughs> I did this for you, Meg. I did this for you. I, I spray painted that up there on 82nd on the billboard that says, I, I don't know, uh, real men love babies or whatever the fuck it is up there. I just spray painted over, I love you, Mike. I did this for you, Mike. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've been thinking about it and I drove past it on the way here and that's where I am at in life. Um, oh, um... I, I, I guess uh, I should talk a little bit about sucking dick. I should do it. It, it wouldn't be a set by Portland's Six Funniest Person without a joke about sucking dick. It wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that. Um, and a big barrier for me is right now that um, I've been to a glory hole or two. I've done that. Clap. Clap more. Clap more. Be sex positive. It's Portland. Be positive. Thank you. Yeah, I've been there. And um, every now and then I get misgendered at a glory hole like that darn cat did to me. And I don't know what to do when I'm sorking a cork and someone says, Yeah, boy, keep on going. Because every single person I suck off sounds like a horny Muppet. <laughs> that, that is who I am. Uh, like, what, what am I going to do? Do I just, like, go over there and I just stop and I'm just like... <laughs> hey, sir. I use uh, they, them pronouns and what you're doing is a little problematic. <laughs> Can this be a little bit of a teaching moment for us? Or do I go full Tyra Banks with it? And I'm just like, <laughs> we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Learn something from this. When my mother yelled at me, it's because she loved me. <laughs> Take responsibility for yourself. You're being too kind to me. I feel like I got the light and I missed it, Mac. Confirm. Oh, yeah, you did, but you can keep going. I'm never, I'm never going to run the light. I'm never going to do that. Do I have a, a sassy one-liner to end on? I would never do that. Um, okay, uh, I, I, I'm going to be back soon, so um, that's a little bit of a teaser. Are you ready for more of me, but in a different way? Okay, then I'm going to go and get ready for that and not take up more of your time because we have a delightful lineup, including Aaliyah's lovely boyfriend, Roland, and his wife, Muriel. Bye. Keep it going for Joe John Sanchez the third, everybody. That is what queer royalty looks like, okay?